you guys welcome back to my channel now if you haven't already guessed from the title today I am gonna be trying to tie-dye an entire outfit for Peach um, and a little outfit for myself so that we can have our full matchy matchy moment going on uh, this is definitely not something that I have done before so I'm not I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna go um, I'm hoping that I can actually create something that I really like and will actually use because I did actually go out and spend money on a new saddle pad and quite a nice saddle pad might I say so I'm hoping I can create something that is usable I've got a bonnet as well and then I've also got a t-shirt for myself which I'm hoping to all like coordinate so that I can create a fully cohesive outfit um, I went to Officeworks and I bought a very like basic dye kit um, this one says that it will dye up to 30 projects which I thought I'd better go more rather than less because I wasn't sure how much I would need to get the saddle pad done. You guys know me, I'm not always the, the one to go for the super bright colours and initially I was thinking I would just go for like maybe a rainbow moment but then I saw this kit, it is the, I think it's pronounced Shibori but it's all like navies and blues and this is just so me so I was like alright I would love to use this to try and create an outfit so I have to say these three colours on the end are definitely calling to me. I really want to try and create like just a three color like ombre moment on the saddle pad to give you guys like an idea of the kind of vibe that I'm going for like I'm sure a lot of you have seen that there are a ton of ombre saddle pads out on the market at the moment and that's kind of what I want to try and emulate um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the equestrian Stockholm ombre pad that was just like oh absolutely love 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 and then there's also the uh, the weather beater ones the sets that they've been releasing so uh, that's kind of like the vibe that i'm going to go for today whether it will be achieved is a whole other thing um i've watched some tutorials on how to create the ombre without getting like blocky lines which i've noticed a lot of people do when they try and tie their saddle pad so i'm really hoping to get like that really like faded effect but whether i can achieve that is a whole other thing uh it's probably a lot harder than i think that it is so Let's get started. The gurus on the internet said to use washable markers to help like line out um, where you want each of the new colours to start. So I've got my little markers ready to go. I am going to go and fill these dyes up now. You just add water and apparently powder and, and you're pretty much good to go. I've got sponges. I've got... A jar um, filled with water and um, a little brush it's actually a whole foil brush but that's gonna be the key to hopefully getting the ombre effect I've got spare gloves even though the kit comes with them I know what I'm like and I need spares and yeah haven't actually done this before so if you're watching this for the first time maybe like don't follow along with me as if this is an instructional because I am actually not sure how it's gonna turn out just yet if you get to the end and you like what the final product looks like then feel free to follow what I'm doing <laughs> okay <laughs> all right I am prepped to go we have one wet saddle pad that I may or may not have dropped on the ground as I was trying to walk back from the wash bay <laughs> so it has been washed off twice um, I've got my gloves um, I'm gonna go and make up the dyes all right so I now have my three dyes made up they're definitely changing color now at first they didn't look any different from each other I'm like hmm, I wonder if this is gonna be a bit of a flop but they're definitely coming out now you can kind of see the difference. I'm trying to make this as even as possible. As you guys can see, I'm taking this very seriously. I really want this to come out nicely. So the darker one, I really want to do at the top. And then I want it to go into the navy, kind of like indigo blue, and then into the lighter sky blue. So that's kind of the vibe. All right, so, oh my God, I'm getting so nervous now. <laughs> I don't know why. One girl I watched, she literally just like threw the dye down and then used her hands to kind of like smush it in. And that seemed to work really well. So I think I'm just gonna try the same thing. All right, shall I do, oh my God. All right. Oh my God, I'm doing it. Now if I just, okay. That's kind of working. Not really. Am I going to have enough dye? I guess I can make up more if I really need it, can't I? Oh, oh yeah, this is going in pretty, pretty well. Ooh, I really like this colour. 
someone's probably watching this being like, that is just not, not the technique you should be using. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. It's kind of working. Wait, guys, am I a craft channel now? How much do I? <gasps> Damn it! <laughs> okay, note to self, try not to whip the die around too much because, yep. Let's see if we can do some blending. This is the indigo. Ooh, okay, wait, this blue is really nice. Oh my god, I'm really happy with how these dyes look. How's it looking up there, guys? Good or bad? <laughs> so far, I'm still not sure. Could be either way. So this is this is the technique I'm not sure about, but the lady on the internet just got a wet brush and just was like doing this, and she was telling me that this would help to create more of an ombre effect. Is it though? Doesn't really feel like it. Maybe I need a bit more dye. It's kind of working. Maybe not. Oh, maybe not. In real life it looks a bit better, but when I look at the screen it looks very liney. Oh, this one's very bright. Oh, I'm not really sure about this one. I don't know, oh, am I? Oh. This looks like the turquoise. Oh, I think I chose the wrong one. I did. Oh, I chose the turquoise, guys. I really wanted to do the sky blue. I might like this. How did I not realize that? Oh, the sky blue would have been so cool. <laughs> that is literally so annoying. take photos um you know we'll just make sure we focus on the other side oh god tried to make a h just made it much much worse um yeah we're just gonna leave that i'm just gonna stop now before i keep making it Worse and worse and worse. Next up, I'm going to attempt to tie-dye the ear bonnet. I kind of want to try and do a love heart on this one. Uh, I watched a tutorial on how to do it. I don't know if it's going to be like feasible. I mean, maybe I'll be able to do it. I really want to try because I thought it would be really cute if it was like a love heart. Well, I think I can do it. Let's just try. Honestly, let's just try. The man on the internet said just to fold it in half and you like draw half a love heart on there. Probably the bigger the better, hey? Alright. And then get my bands. And then he said to like bunch it together but like keep the line straight. Alright, so I've now got this happening. Um, I've like banded it up. Hopefully it is going to make a heart shape. So if I go for the same colours again. So this is what we've got now. I mean, the colour looks cool. I don't think it's going to end up being a heart. I just, I have a feeling. Oh. I am on to the final piece. Now this is gonna be for me. I'm thinking that I actually wanna leave a little bit of white in this. 
So I'm basically trying to do like this circle kind of where it basically says to pick like where you want the center of the circle to be. And then you like literally just pull it up through your hands into like this. So now I've got like my line and then it says to use zip ties of all things. So I have my kind of like caterpillar-esque looking thing going on now. Um, I'm basically going to do each section a different colour. I think I'm going to go like white blue, white blue though. Um, let's see how we go. I have this going on. I don't know. I feel like this could either be really cool or like trash. All right, you guys, I finally got through that. Literally, that took me like two hours straight to tie dye those three things. Much longer than I expected. I thought it'd be a bit quicker. I, at this point, I don't know. Don't know how exactly it's gonna turn out. Might not be exactly how I intended it to, but hopefully it's still something wearable and usable. Um, I have put everything in a very, very messy pile down here. So everything is wrapped up and I've just kept it all there just in case I need to like, I don't know, do touch-ups or change something tomorrow. Um, yeah, it says to leave it for six to eight hours, but I've got to go out tonight. So I'm not gonna be back for probably 12 hours. I don't know if that's gonna affect it. Hopefully it makes it better. I'm hoping that that means the color soaks in even more and is even more like pigmented but I'm not 100% sure because I have noticed that some people tie-dye their things and then by the time they wash them, they look quite like washed out, um, which I would prefer like bright colors if I can achieve it. So we'll, we'll see if we achieve that goal. So after my tie-dye items were stored for 24 hours in my trash bags, uh, I did pull them out. I rinsed them off at the hose, it's in our wash bay. Then I took them home. I put them through the washing machine as per the instructions on the box. And I have to say the color definitely stayed in pretty well. It definitely did uh, fade slightly, but they're still quite bright. So I'm pretty happy with how the colors are looking minus that unplanned turquoise, but I think the overall effect is still nice. So I do want to show you guys one of the items. This is my t-shirt. It is still wet at the moment, so I haven't tried it on yet, but I'm actually like happy with how that's looking. I feel like it turned out much nicer than I expected. And very shortly, I am going to show you guys the the full final moment. I'm gonna get Peach and myself all dressed up and we're gonna reveal what the final look is uh, looking like. Hopefully it's good and you guys can rate it. You can let me know what you think. Uh, I don't know if it's exactly how I thought it would turn out, but. I, th I think it's still nice. Now on the topic of getting to share things with you guys, I also wanted to let you know that today's video is in fact sponsored by a new equestrian community called My Horse World Club. My Horse World Club is a new channel and they have a focus on creating a platform for young horse lovers to come together and share their experiences with a like-minded community. And let me tell you, they feature a lot of different disciplines, a lot of different topics, from how-tos to horse ASMR. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in checking out, then you can, of course, just go to the description box below this video. I will leave all the links there. All right, you guys, these are the final products. <laughs> they are <laughs> Yes, these are the final products. I have to say, the T-shirt in particular, I'm actually really happy with. This circle pattern, I think, came out really nicely. I personally quite like this and the colors are very very me so I can definitely see myself wearing this more. The ear bonnet, now first things first, this was supposed to be a love heart here. Obviously that didn't really happen and you guys knew as I was dyeing it I was very, um, I, I was getting a little worried that it was going to be a little bit harder to achieve than I expected. But I have to say the colors on the ear bonnet I am super super happy with. I was worried they wouldn't take super well to this material but this is actually the thing that's come out the brightest out of everything that I dyed. And I think it looks very cute on her. Now the saddle pad, as you guys know, definitely has not come out exactly how I expected. I really, really wanted to achieve that super like faded ombre look and that didn't really happen. But that being said, I have to say I don't hate it. I kind of think it's still cute and even though the colors faded a bit after I washed it, I think that actually helped it look a little bit more um, a little bit more, a little less liney, let's put it that way, because it looked a little blocky um, after I was done with it. 
even though blue is typically Fletcher's colour, I think that Miss Peach looks very, very cute in this outfit. And it's kind of cute to have like, the, you know, the little matchy matchy vibes. But you guys can be the judges. Let me know down below how you think I went. I'm going to give myself a solid, you know, 5.5, 6 out of 10. I think it's okay. I think I could have done better. If I do it again, I definitely am going to like change my technique a little bit because now I think I kind of like understand a little bit more about how it's going to end up looking. If you guys know of any other DIY equestrian like crafting challenges that you want me to attempt, then let me know down below in the comments. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also you can subscribe for more videos. We are trying to do a video every single week. And if you want to see more of myself and my three horses, including Miss Peach, then you can also follow us on Instagram at hand.equestrian. Yeah.